It's, uh, it's good to be here. I drove down here in my car, which is like the main thing I do in my car. Uh, yeah, 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 I like my car. Do not like my car's horn. I did not know it sounded that way when I bought that vehicle. Did not know that. And I didn't use my car horn for the first two years I owned it. Because I grew up in Washington, and we do not honk our horns up there. Do you guys honk your horns around here? Is this like a... Divisive. <laughs> Can't tell if this is a honky town, even if it is a fucking honky town. A little split down the middle, you guys. I don't know. First time, I, I, I didn't have it for the first two years, because like I said, grew up in Washington, and a lot of Washingtonians that don't honk, honk their horns like to think it's because they're good people, and ha ha ha, no. It's not because they're good people, it's because they're passive aggressive people. That's what that is. They don't want to get cut off and be like, well, honk. You're like, well, honk you too. And you're like, oh, I got in a fight today. <laughs> but what they will do is get cut off and then try to make direct eye contact in the rear view mirror. Just like, ah, look at me. I'm going to write about this on Facebook. Cool. <laughs> First time I ever had to use my car horn, I was driving on the freeway, going over the speed limit in the far left lane, the way God intended, having a, having a great time, listening to some metal music, because that is who I am as a person. Screaming along, screaming along, just I was having, I get very bored in my car. <laughs> screaming along, having a good time. I love metal music. There's a couple of you that responded. There's more of you who didn't, that's fine. Okay. Okay, but just, there's a time and place for that in a comedy show around a bunch of strangers who are like, ah! that's not, that scares people. That's aggressive, isn't it? That's the main thing that makes people uncomfortable. I don't know, I, I've, I've loved metal music for years and years, but more often than not, if you tell someone you like metal music, they react like as if you just told them exactly what genre of pornography you're into. They're like, oh, I didn't want to know that about you. It is so loud. Why are they screaming? This makes you happy. You're like, yeah, it brings joy to my heart. <laughs> like, I want to get out of your car. Like, you don't, you can't. I mean, you're still in. I'm using you for the HOV lane. We're stuck. <laughs> it's the yelling. The yelling's the main thing that makes people upset. They're usually just like, why would anyone want to yell? Why would anyone in the middle of an audience go, <laughs> like, why would you? I'm like, you can't imagine why anyone would want to yell ever. Do you not remember that? kid in kindergarten who used to just run around screaming like a dinosaur all the time? He made a career out of it. All of his teachers, the school counselors were like, Dylan, this behavior will never amount to anything. He's like, what the fuck did you say? Witness me! <laughs> That's his career. He didn't have to read the secret, he lived it. It's a fun job. I love, I love going seeing metal live, hopping in a mosh pit. <laughs> if you don't know what a mosh pit is, it is a place you go to kick 15 year olds. Consensually. Yeah, these 15 year olds know what they're walking into, all right? I'm not just showing up at a middle school, just being like, think fast, you guys, like, what's up? You're the future, I'm the present, you need to learn. Came here for the kickings. No. And don't worry, I used to be 15 years old, full head of hair, hopping in a mosh pit. Some bald dude with a beard in his 30s would hit me. I'd be like, what's happening? He's like, I'm your future. Ha <laughs> ha, we're running clockwise, let's fucking go, dude. That was a fun little hop I had to do there. I was like, we're going to get tied up. Oh, no. <laughs> what was I talking about? I, <laughs> oh, I was talking about my car horn. Yeah, that's right. I, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I, <laughs> that's how I sound when I'm happy sometimes. It doesn't match. Uh, I actually recently got diagnosed with uh, ADD or ADHD. I did not listen to the doctor, <laughs> which means I earned it. <laughs> Yeah, I was not paying attention to her until she said riddle, and I was like, what was this? <laughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> are you trying to get me to do drugs, madame? 
gasp. <laughs> yeah, because up until this point, I've only ever done drugs recreationally, never professionally. And it is a game changer. <laughs> when you actually do the drugs your body is supposed to do, you're like, oh, wow, <laughs> interesting. It's made me realize pretty much all of you have been walking around thinking your thoughts all the way through. This whole time you've been superheroes. You're just like, here's the first part of my thought, here's the second part of my thought, here's the last part of my thought, I'm done with that thought. Fuck you! Check your privilege. That's not my life. Every single day of my life is just who, what, where, when, why, I'm bored! Let's move on. I still need to finish that joke about my car. It's difficult. This is me every single day. It's hard. Okay, so I'm driving on the freeway. <laughs> Far left lane, going over the speed limit. I'm driving past this lifted truck, and I'm in his blind spot, which is pretty big. Lifted trucks have a lot of blind spots. Nothing against trucks, but I just do have a quick thought. If you're going to have a lifted truck, you should be taller than your tires. That's a thought. There's a little thinkity thought I had. Because I, I understand how cool it is to be that tall. You get to be up there and be like, I am a king. I can run over all of you easily. Bow before me. It's, I get it. It's fun. You feel good. Powerful. But just so you know, we see you when you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's, you're like, what's that little gremlin doing over there? Climbing up into that castle. He looks cute. I want to put him in my pocket. So I'm driving past his truck, <laughs> momentarily in his blind spot. He decides in that moment to get in my lane. Someone is behind me, so I can't slam on my brakes. I have to hit my horn, and it goes, hey. <laughs> What? That's the sound? That's the sound we make to deter collision. Just, hey. <laughs> I went thousands of dollars into debt for that sound to potentially be the last sound I make on this planet. Just, hey, no, stop darkness forever. That could be my swan song. <laughs> I'm just gonna shuffle off this mortal coil sounding like Beaker getting choked out by someone with soft hands. Oh, we got a couple Muppet fans here? All right. Yeah, well, I'm just going, ee, 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 ee. like the music still plays. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, ah! I'm like, what is <laughs> It's an interesting juxtaposition. I enjoy it. Okay, all right. Good, I could tell you were laughing the whole time. That was good. It's a good job. Good job showing your joy properly. Sometimes people don't do that. They come to comedy shows and they're like, I only brought three hee hee ha ha's with me, so. I have a finite amount of happiness. You better fucking earn it, bud. And you're like, okay. You sound giving. <laughs> oh man, I, uh, I, uh, I'm an uncle, obviously, based off of this energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm an uncle. Uh, my brother has three kids, uh, and I appreciate, he didn't have gender reveal parties for any of them, and I do appreciate that. I think gender reveal parties are very stupid. They're getting out of hand. Like two years ago at a gender reveal party, a cannon misfired and killed a man. Which is kind of badass. Because they're like, before the baby is born, there must be a blood sacrifice. Invite Kevin, he is the least loved. Apologies to any Kevins here tonight. Did you guys know that any party can be a gender reveal party if I pull my penis out? Like, ha, ha it's a boy! <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, man. It's a man. It's a man. I'm a man! <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think gender reveal parties should be used on unborn babies. That's stupid. If anyone deserves a gender reveal party, it's trans people. Yeah! They're like, hey, I figured it out. Pop the balloon. That shit's blue. <laughs> You're like, all right. <laughs> Welcome to the party, bruh. Because <laughs> it does take a while sometimes. It might take a while. I'm like a couple years ago, I mean, Elliot Page went by Ellen Page for decades. 
That was like a recent change. And I remember the day that news came out, when I read that headline, I was, my first reaction was like, ugh. I used to jerk off to that dude. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Oh, I guess I guess I, 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 I guess I'm an ally. I guess. <laughs> Let's just uh, knock one out for old times' sakes, Elliot. <laughs> you have very nice abs now. <laughs> Wasn't as good as it used to be, but I got the job done. I don't know. So I got what I'm saying. I have three nieces for now. For now, it's they're young. They might mix it up. I don't know. It might, it might switch up. Who knows, man? I love them. I got that unconditional love. I'm going to be there for them if just one day one of them is like, hey, Uncle Luke, I'm actually a boy. I'd be like, well, I've been calling you dude this whole time, so that's a real lateral move. <laughs> it's not going to change anything, except for I don't want you sitting on my lap anymore because that'd be fucking gay, dude. <laughs> we handled that okay, Eugene. Oh, man. I've been going back to the gym, trying to get back in shape. Oh, my God. I'm, uh, I've been working on getting in shape for about a decade. It's Anyone else really good at the yo-yo diet? I'm great at that. That is my preferred means of losing and gaining weight. If you don't know what a yo-yo diet is, it's when you diet and exercise for about six months, and then someone gives you a compliment, and you're like, ooh, I'm going to black out and eat an entire pizza while thinking about what you just said to me. Fantastic. We're done. We did it. Every day is Y2K. Let's go. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't like gyms. I really don't. There's just too many mirrors. I don't need to see that much me. I'm going to the gym specifically for there to be less me. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just so many mirrors. It's ridiculous. You go in there feeling good about yourself. You're like, I did some push-ups this week. Muscles are coming back. My torso, I got like a capital P. That's the shape I am, I'm a capital P man, that's fantastic. And then you sit on a machine, look to the side and go, nah, it's not a, it's not a P, mm -mm. It's not a P, it's more of a capital B. <laughs> For a bulbous boy with boobs, this is... I don't think enough men in this audience are laughing right now. I've seen all of you guys as you walk in, there's a lot of second layers in loose fitting t-shirts right now. Covering up hairy B cups attached to liars, so, okay? I'm not the only man in this room who's driven over a speed bump a little bit too fast and had it ruin my day. Just dun 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 dun, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. <laughs> Always been a tit man, but now I'm a titted man and that's not, that is not ideal. Uncross your arm, sir, you're proving my point. Thank you. Let them breasts breathe, they earned it. <laughs> uh, I have been making a little bit of progress. Been losing some weight, getting in better shape. I attribute it to having a workout partner. Got one of those. It's a good buddy of mine. This guy named Greg. Uh, he's a bald black dude with beard tattoos. I look like a photo negative version of him. <laughs> and he looks like a photo negative version of me. I'm like, haha, we match. <laughs> And if you're a white person who didn't laugh at that joke, guess what? Greg helped me write that joke. You're being racist, so... <laughs> Highly problematic. Be better. I don't know. I think it's good to be friends <laughs> with other bald people that aren't white, because that happens too often. Just a bunch of white dudes. We just kind of, like, get together, and I look around, and they're like, there's more than four of us. We need to, we need to scatter. This isn't... <laughs> Bad things happen when we're in groups together. You get enough pale chrome domes. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard of history, but it's a little bit... <laughs> it gets a little dark when it's that white, is what I'm trying to say, all right? I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, racist dudes really do like to talk to me, and that is uncomfortable. <laughs> they see my hairline, they're like, I'm gonna go call that guy brother. <laughs> You're like, rather you did not. <laughs> makes my butthole pucker and I don't like that. Yeah, guess I just have a friendly face for hateful folk. That's fucking tight. <laughs> I've been friends with Greg about five years. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, I still don't know when he is joking. 
because he has a very monotone voice and he's lived a very different life than I have. Like he'll just be saying things, I'll start laughing, he goes, that actually happened. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. how upset. So how many times did your ex-wife try to murder you? Over half a dozen times. Wow, that's a lot of attempted murder. It's good you got away from her. You don't want to be stuck married to someone who can't finish a simple task. Like, he's a type 1 diabetic. Did she even want him dead? It should not be difficult. All you need to do is hide his insulin and throw Twinkies at his face for like a day and he will die. Okay, I'm, I don't actually know how diabetes works. Sorry, I feel the diabetics in the crowd being like, that's fucking not cool, bro. Me and my stumps don't approve of that. <laughs> if you don't laugh the way I want you to laugh, I'm gonna get mean, all right? Sorry, that, I have angry stepdad energy. It's just like, hey, my love isn't unconditional. There's conditions. And just so you know, I'm ultimately only here to fuck your mom. So you better, you better behave right. <laughs> We'll have a better time if you do. I don't know. It, 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 every time Greg tries to explain how diabetes works, like he's done it like dozens of times, and each time he does, like my eyes just glaze over, and I'm just I'm like, all I hear is, "God does not love me as much as the other ones." I'm not. I'm not religious. I, I'm not religious at all. But if I did believe in God, I'd be like, he is a bit of a dick. He has to do math every time he wants to have dessert. That sucks. Sometimes I'll just start eating cookies in front of them, just like, rah, rah, like Cookie Monster. I don't even chew them properly. I'm just like, rah, 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 rah. I was like, I don't have to count anything. How does that make you feel, Greg? He's like, well, how are your tits doing? I was like, that's a good point. I'm still wearing second layers, bud. We should go to the gym. Uh, it has been good having it as a workout partner. I was doing this exercise. It's called the overhead press. It's where you're standing. Oh, okay. Overhead press. Fans in the audience. It's where you're standing there. You have a bar and you hoist it above your head. I don't know if you guys know this about bars and heads, but if they collide, ah, that is not ideal. It's good to have a spotter, someone to catch that bar so you don't bump your noggin. Because if you do, ah, you'll become less aerodynamic. You might have to start wearing more hats. So Greg's behind me, spotting me. And it's the end of the workout. I have three reps left. Three, that's it, that's it. And this is the end, and I'm, to be honest, I'm running on fumes, I'm running low. But I'm like, all right, here's the first one, let's go, just, okay, that's one, okay. Let me get it, there we go, that's the first one, okay. Number two, let's do number two, just, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That was a bit harder than the first one. <laughs> all right, this is the final one, this is the final, this is the final one, let's just fucking. <laughs> And the mirror is right in front of my face. Why does that, why does that need to be there? At no point in time in my life have I been like, I want to make direct eye contact with myself when I'm struggling. And I'm not a good sweater. I don't, some people sweat, they glisten, they look sexy. I just get damp. Just staring at myself, be like, wow, you're a real damp dude, aren't you right now? And earlier that week, I'd shaved my beard off because I felt good about myself and that was wrong that was a wrong that was a bad that was a whoops a doodle on my part first time i'd gotten rid of my beards in three years and that is a bold move as a man because you're like ooh, what have i been cultivating behind the curtain it is always more chins than i recalled a man getting rid of his beard is a lot like a woman getting bangs because every time we walk past a mirror we're just like no, it looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, li I, li I like what I've done with my body, and if I want to change it, which I don't, but if I did, which I don't, but if I did, which I don't, but if I did, fuck! We're just going to be stuck looking this way for a little while. So I'm just staring in the mirror, just be like, yeah, bangs were a bad choice. <laughs> You just look soggy and wet. You're a damp dude. You're a moist, moist man, and that's not... Okay, sorry. I did say the moist word. That's a, that's a word women hate to hear, love to be. That's fucking irony. 
It was like, ooh, yeah, without, without a beard, you just look like a wet thumb. You just look like a dumb, wet, you're a dumb, wet. You're a dumb, wet thumb, a dumb, wet thumb, a dumb, wet thumb. And then the bar gets above my head. That's where it's the most dangerous. That's where I need the most support from my friend, my workout partner, Gregory, behind me. He sees that I'm struggling. He sees that I need help. So he leans in to say something encouraging, leans in and goes, white power. I'm like, <laughs> is this a test? <laughs> like how, 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 how am I supposed to react to that as an ally? <laughs> I didn't know what to do. All I knew for sure is I wasn't supposed to go, yeah! Yeah, that's the last little bit I needed to put that final little pep in my step, brother! Like, that's not the ideal response. Obviously, I didn't drop the bar on my head. I'd be wearing a hat right now if I did. Uh, I almost dropped it, Greg caught it. I was like, what the, dude, you almost killed me. He's like, that was really, really funny though. I was like, absolutely. That is a fantastic game for anyone who's not white to play on their white friends. You just wait until they're picking up something heavy, doing something like wait, they're concentrated type of something. You're like, hey, white power. And they're like, what the fuck? You're like, hmm, <laughs> maybe you're an ally. <laughs> All right. I got a skadoodle. Um, you guys are a lot of fun. Yeah. If, uh, if you enjoyed my comedy, Good job, that's the appropriate reaction. Um, I'll be hanging out after the show, uh, selling some merch, because that's what comedians do. Most people think that comedians love telling jokes, and that's not actually true. We really, we mostly just have a passion for apparel. Uh, I just love selling t-shirts so they go on people's torsos. That's what I, that's why I got into dick jokes. Uh, so I did get a bunch of t-shirts made. I'll be selling them over there. Uh, and like I said, I am a metalhead. I love going to live shows, seeing a band that I like, and buying merch from them. But more often than not, if you see a band, you buy their shirt, you try it on, you're like, whose body is this for? This does not cup my tits the way I want my tits cupped. This is actually chafing my nips right now as we speak. So when I got these shirts made, I made sure that they will cup your tits just the way you want your tits cupped. Yeah. They will caress your nips ever so softly, just the way you like it. And I know this because I've tried each and every one of them on individually. <laughs> I, uh, I have made some jokes about drugs. Brent has made some jokes about drugs. There's going to be some more jokes about drugs afterwards. And I, I do want to go on record. Yeah, we can tell. We know. Uh, <laughs> I do want to go on record and say, I am an uncle, I love my nieces, I, I personally, Luke Severide, I still agree with Dare, I do. I don't think kids should do drugs because they don't deserve them. It's like, dog, you got a full head of hair, your back doesn't hurt, this is the best it's gonna be, chase that dragon later. So I had a bunch of shirts made that say, kids don't deserve drugs, right there. So come talk to me, you guys. I have all the sizes. Please come say hello. If you like my comedy scan, I got a QR code. Please follow me online. I love you. 